what's going on everybody and check out this beautiful location i'm at i'm up here with bill and uh he's got a channel called bill's fishing adventures and uh he lives pretty close to me and um he's fishing a different section of a river that i hadn't fished before so i really wanted to check it out i've been to parts of it and i knew it was really cool and it looks amazing up here so we're gonna see what we can catch hopefully catch some smallmouth and uh just have a good time enjoying the scenery it's gonna be nice you can keep them and it's a uh a wind a winter thing where you can't keep them in the winter oh there's one nice. there we go well that didn't take long at all <laughs> bill me put me right on them they're a little small i like that oh pretty guy right there Ah, beautiful place out here. What a way to start. It's so clear. I can see this little bitty fish over there nibbling on my lure. It just, I felt the tiny little tap. It was a little bitty fish. You know, little pounders and later in the day and... Yeah. Oh yeah, he's going downstream. Right there. Is that the same one or is that a different one? No, that's different. Yeah, this hole's got some good ones holding up in it. Gotta find them in that hungry zone. Yeah, this, they're looking at this hole right here. It's so awesome looking. Good deep hole. There's a nice smallmouth there, right there. There's a couple that went up in that tree. It's early in the morning. Can't get a thing to bite. Not really out here anyways. But let's go downstream. It looks awesome down here. Oh, yeah. He came out and hammered it. <laughs> it's a solid one. It's dark. It came out of that rock, just picked it up and ran back into it. That was funny. Yeah, that's a good one. I think it's so strong. Nice. Oh, no, no, don't give me. Where are you gonna break me off of these rocks? Oh, yeah. I'll take that guy. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's a solid bass. That's a pretty dark, too. All right, Bill told me that. I said. So right on the other side of that rock right there and sure enough this guy came out and just smacked it that's a solid bass we're gonna get him back in the water dude look how clear this water is it's so cool it's a little treacherous getting around but it's worth it get the payoff man what a beauty all right one last look look how thick that thing is <laughs> it's a chunk I think it was probably close to two pounds how thick he was. I can't believe that. I went upstream on a kayak and it was perfect. Which one was that with the uh Oh there we go. There we go. Eat it. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh that one's gonna eat it. Dude, there's two of them right there, right on it, but they won't bite it. Cast in that hole right there. Oh my goodness, that was a good there was two good ones. They both came over like they were gonna eat it and they didn't. Man, I thought for sure I was gonna get one of those. They both came out like they were gonna hammer it and then just stopped. Oh, no, the line broke. That's a pretty good one. I must've got weakened earlier, I guess, but that was a solid. I, fit, I said it was solid hit. That's the only thing about these rocks, you know, you gotta. Yeah. Man. That ball was terrible like that. That stunt. I just retied, I thought, but I think I got stuck again after that. 
Oh, there's another cut right there. Goodness, good thing I'm looking at it. It would have broke again. Whenever you, when my car should be ready today, I go back to work Tuesday. So, if you ever want to get out again, let me know. Okay. I got. Yeah. So, I like sat down the other day and, and scheduled it out. And, like, next four or five weeks, I have nonstop, seems like, people I'm meeting with or trips. I'm going to go to North Carolina and then go to. Oh, oh, dude. Yes. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nice. I saw him come over and get it. Man, I ain't got a bite since I lost that last, since I line broke off for a while. Got to make it down to these nice holes and then, man, you get rewarded with a really pretty small mouth. That is awesome right there. Man, these guys are just, they're beefing up for the winter. Like yeah. they, usually these creeks and river smallies, it gets thinner, but man, these, these guys are really thickening up. That's cool. Oh, all right. Man, we were talking about how hard, tough it is to walk around this area, but then you get rewarded with something like that. Really good. That's probably a 15 inch smaller right there. They're biting slow, but we're getting some out of here. Dude, you can't ask for a more gorgeous place to catch fish. Look at that. Another little 10, 11 inch smaller. Yeah, I found that in the spring a lot of times they really like sitting in the current. Wow, that's a solid fish. I wasn't, I was just throwing away at the way at the back of this pool. It's maybe my, is this, I don't know if it's that big, he's just fighting. Yeah, that was nice. things are all thick man I've had some really good quality today like I, I thought it'd be a bunch of small ones but what I've caught has been really good ones he wasn't getting off. no he, he wasn't coming out he was like hooked twice that's awesome right there yeah he was he was way up in the shallow area Fish on. Little spy. Just into the bridge. Oh, yes. Eat it, eat it. Oh, I thought he ate it. Oh my goodness, I thought he ate that. That was a big one. Should have waited, I guess. Oh, he's turning away. There's a huge one. I, I think he came and nibbled at it. There's one. What do I got? A little guy. There's a bunch of them over there. I know there's some big ones. 
Obviously, I can't get those. Oh, I got a rock bass. There's a smallie following it up. Got a rock bass. Rock bass. I waited over here where I saw some. There's some big ones that get deep right there. Oh, if I get one of those to bite, which I've caught some good ones today. I always wanted another bigger one. Oh, you got him. <laughs> hey, that's that's true creek fishing adventures right there. We're working we're working our way back um up from where we, we went down the river and we're walking back upside and there's a little spot on the side of the road and kind of a little he just made a cast in there and caught a fish. Huh. Oh wow. Should we fish with that? How did you even see that when we were walking across? Move. See if it'll tag my hug or my tag. You won't. Oh oh there we go. Get him. Get him. Ah! He's coming to me. All right, literally, I gotta go. Well, that's how I like to do it. Nice. <laughs> Stand back, throw in. Ah, we just came up, up the, uh, back up to where we started. Now we're gonna go upstream a little bit. We've been out for about three hours. Some, some about three hours. So it's been a really fun, interesting, just beautiful kind of location fishing spot. And we're only gonna get a little bit more and we'll probably be done for the day. Oh, it's creature day. What is that thing? Is that just a caterpillar? It looks weird. Do you wanna fight my hugger mite? Yep. Oh, got one looking at it. Get it. Oh, oh, there's one. Ah. Oh, he's coming. Is he? I thought he was coming for it. Oh, come on. There's a couple of them right out there in the middle. Oh, that was a hill hit right there. Come on, come back for it. Went up, this river branches off two streams coming in. Had a little hit right there. Oh, what is that? Got my mosquitoes up here. Oh yeah, there's one. <laughs> the creek really gets small as it goes up as it splits off and goes up to two different paths or comes out of two different streams. Dark looking rock bass right there. It's black almost. Okay, okay. 